Hi, my name is Ursula Liang and I'm working on a feature-length documentary about a chaotic and dynamic streetball sport in Chinatown called Nine Man. This is a game that's been isolated in Chinatown for 80 years. It's kind of volleyball, but nothing like it. There are nine to a side and rules that keep non-Chinese out, plus asphalt and broken glass. In the 1930s in the U.S. and Canada, Chinese men were ghettoized by anti-Chinese sentiment and anti-Chinese legislation. They found escape and community in Nine Man. You doing okay? Yeah, ready to go? All right, come on. I started my career as a sports journalist and it always bothered me to see how Asian American athletes were and were not covered. When I first saw Nine Man, I knew it had to be put on record before history was lost. I met Henry Oi when he was 91 years old and had already had three strokes. He was still eager to tell his story. It was a long grind, six days a week. Can you blame us for playing like crazy when we have a chance? And that took all, all the stress away, the loneliness. Don't forget, with no girl, nothing. And you don't go chasing after an American girl or anything. No way. I've also recorded tales from a diverse group of young Chinese-American men who have taken a chaotic game passed on through generations and made it incredibly competitive and dynamic. Nine Man is now dominated by elite athletes, including a former Olympian, and each year guys give everything they've got to win the yearly Labor Day Nine Man tournament. Jeremy Lin made history last year in the NBA. People are starting to pay more attention to Asians in sports, but they haven't seen Chinese athletes quite like this. I hope you'll help me tell this story.